Hi, my name is Lauren Lazish and I'm the photo editor at IAM. Welcome to a world of Technicolor dreams, where hazy dreamlike nostalgic shots full of fizzy color bring us back to a world filled with fun. 35mm analog photography with its grainy and lo-fi feel always has a subtle way of adding a rose tint around a memory. And now with the pandemic dragging its heels, people are now ever deep stuck in their photo album archives or being reminded through their memory apps of what they were doing one year ago today. We know that it will hurt, yet we can't help our never-ending scroll through our photos. 2019, 2018, 2017, we glide back through goofy photos of pals posing with arms lazily slung over each other's shoulders, getting dressed up for a fancy birthday dinner with the family, or smudgy shots of that iconic karaoke night. Just to remind ourselves that no, we didn't make this all up, and yes, it did actually happen. Mental health is taking a beating during this time, with therapy appointments maxed out and the rate of divorce and breakups unprecedented. It's already a heavy time, so in response, people are looking for visual content to provide some much needed light relief. Using imagery with electric pops of colour, jazzy effects or acid accents are all excellent ways of lifting anyone's mood. For this trend, styling is playful and confident. With nowhere else to flaunt, the aisle of the supermarket has become our new runway. Where else can we show off the new IG Real makeup tutorial that we spent hours perfecting? But with our wallets taking a hit as the economy slumps and the majority of retail shops closed, secondhand, vintage and thrifting have all become our ultimate saviours, sexy and sustainable. If the predictions of a post-pandemic renaissance revival are true, brands will need to align with it. Adverts are already tapping into people's psyches by using really emotive imagery in film that hones in on what people are missing right now. What's that? Human connection. Analog photography has the ability to create that candid approach. It's less staged, less perfect, it's more real. Or you can fake it with a funky filter, but we're probably going to know and supporting a true art form will be valued and respected in the long run. So I hope this has given you some ideas of where to turn for your next marketing campaign or your social media assets. Um, make sure to check out the full photography collection I've curated for further inspiration. Until next time, take care.